In this video, I will show you how to track forms if they redirect users to a thank you page. The first method does not require Google Tag Manager. All you must have is Google Analytics installed on a website. So here I have a demo page with a form. And if I submit that form, the visitor is redirected to a thank you page and the URL contains form status success. In your case, the URL might contain something different. But the main idea of thank you page tracking is that the URL of the thank you page allows you to distinguish easily that the form was submitted. So it might be something like slash thank you slash form submission was successful or something like that. In my case, this shows that the form was submitted successfully. This means that when a visitor lands on a thank you page, Google Analytics is loaded again, and that is tracked as a page view. So this is necessary that there is a page view on a thank you page. And to make sure you can check that with the debug view or the real time reports of Google Analytics for let's say that I want to check the debug view. So the first thing that you should do is to enable the Chrome extension, which is called Google Analytics Debugger. If you don't have it, then click the link below the video and install it. It works with any Chromium based browser like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. So once you install that extension, then click it and its icon will change to this one. Then I will go to the form page again, then I will submit the form and then I will go to the debug view of Google Analytics for So once you submit the form, go here, then admin, then debug view. And here you should see the page views, check the latest page view and then click its page location. In this case, I see that on a thank you page, a separate page view is dispatched, which is correct. So in this case, you have two options. You can just track regular page views and then build a report where let's say the page location contains form status, and then you would just check the number of page views. But another option could be to track page views of a thank you page as separate events. We could call them, for example, form submission. So if you get automatically tracked page views, views on the thank you page, you could go to admin, then events and then create event here you can click create event and then you can add a new event for this for example we will name this form submission and then here you must enter the conditions when exactly should this event be automatically tracked in our case that was on the page view event but not any page view we want to track only those page views in this case where page location contains and then contains this particular parameter. So I will copy it and then I will paste it like that. So if Google Analytics tracks a page view and it does it on this particular page, then this additional event will be tracked by Google Analytics for as well. And if you have this checkbox enabled, which is enabled by default, then all other parameters from the page view will also be included in this form submission event. So click create then you might need to wait for a couple of seconds. And then we could test if this is working properly. So first, let's go to admin and then debug view. Now let's go to the website and to that initial form and I will submit the form again. This is the thank you page. And now let's wait for the events to come in. And here I have several events. One of them is that automatically tracked page view. But since page views conditions were met, which means that the URL contains this, then we also got the form submission event, which was automatically tracked by Google Analytics 4. And then 24 hours after this setup has been completed, you should start seeing those events in your standard reports or explorations in Google Analytics 4. If you want to learn more about building reports, with Google Analytics 4, then take a look at my GA4 course. I will post a link to it below the video. So this kind of method does not care how Google Analytics is installed. It might be installed directly in the source code of the website, or it might be installed, let's say, with Google Tag Manager. However, if you have Google Tag Manager, I would recommend using GTM to track thank you pages as well, because it makes more sense to have all of your event tracking in a single place, rather than having some of your events in Google Tag Manager, while other events are configured directly in the GA for property. So now let's move to the Google Tag Manager option. But before that, I will delete the create event rule because I don't want to have duplicates. So let's delete that. And then I will pause the video. In the meantime, I will add Google Tag Manager to the website. And then I will show you how to configure a thank you page tracking.
All right, I'm back and this is my Google Tag Manager container that is installed on this demo website. Inside Google Tag Manager, I have the GA4 configuration tag, which is also known as Google Tag. And inside that tag, I have entered the measurement ID of my Google Analytics 4 property. So this is the basic setup, which is necessary. Now, the next step will be to create an event tag, which will send an event to Google Analytics when page URL contains this one. So in Google Tag Manager, I will go to triggers then new and trigger configuration. So my Google Analytics configuration tag, also known as Google tag, fires on initialization. So your intention here should be that the event tag, which fires on the thank you page, would fire later, let's say on DOM ready or window loaded. In this case, I will select DOM ready. We want this trigger to be activated, not on all DOM ready events, but only on those where page URL contains this. So let's select page URL contains and then this. Again, in your case, it might be something different. So you will need to adapt. And then I paste it right here. The reason why I selected page URL because page URL variable also includes query parameters, also known as URL parameters. They come in the URL after the question mark. If I used page path, then this particular value could not be fetched. Actually, you know what? Let me show you this in action. So I'm in Google Tag Manager, I will click preview. And I will enter the URL of the thank you page. Now, once the preview mode is connected, I go back to the tag assistant tab, then I click, let's say DOM ready and variables. And here you will see that page path does not contain the form status parameter, but page URL contains, it contains the main, then slashes, which are basically page path, and then the URL parameter. That's why we are using the page URL in my case. But in your case, it might be something like gtmplayground.com slash thank you. In that case, you could also use the page path. It's your choice. So let's go to Google Tag Manager, triggers, new, trigger configuration, and DOM ready. Then some DOM ready events and page URL URL must contain this particular part right here, which is form status success, then I will name this trigger and click save. Then I can go to tags, click new tag configuration, Google Analytics, and then GA4 event. Here I have to enter the measurement ID of my data stream. So I can go to Google Analytics, then admin, then data streams, click my website data stream and copy the measurement ID, then go here and paste it. Then I can name this event, it can be let's say form submission. And then in the triggering, I will select my DOM ready trigger. So this is the most essential basic setup. Of course, you could go more advanced, for example, maybe you could try to fetch the ID of the form, but this would go out of scope of this tutorial. I talk more about advanced stuff in my intermediate slash advanced Google Tech Manager course. So I will post a link to it below the video as well. When this tag fires, it will track the URL of the thank you page. And it is the bare minimum, which should be enough for you to identify which thank you page was visited. Then let's name this tag and click save. Let's test if this is working. So click preview to refresh the preview mode. And then I'm already on the thank you page. In fact, I could go back, submit the form again and then land here. But let's pretend that I have already done that. So here is the form success message, the URL contains this. And then here in the preview mode, if I click on DOM ready, I will see that my tag has fired. Now if I go to Google Analytics admin, and then I go to debug view, here I should see the form submission event again. And here it is, we also see the page location where that particular form was submitted or actually the URL of the thank you page. Once you're done with your setup and you made sure that everything is working fine, then you can go to Google Tag Manager, click Submit and publish your changes of this container. From that moment, thank you page tracking will go live and it will track submissions of your website visitors. And that is how you can track thank you pages with Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tech Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.